Well, he's doing really well. He should, he's been here at the fairgrounds for a while, and uh, he breezed on uh, Saturday. Breezed extremely well, and um, we're excited about the opportunity. Obviously, this is the first year of this format with the invitation uh, for the tur Pegasus Turf, and uh, you know we're glad to be a part of it. And you know, a mile in the three sixteenths, it may not be his favorite distance, but you know, off a layoff, I feel like he's something. You know, hopefully, as long as he gets in the race um, a little bit. Uh, earlier than he does some of his other spots, he, he'll, he'll be competitive. And uh, from a perspective, his five-year-old season in 2019, that um, he only won the one race, but it was a grade one, and he ran out three quarters of a million dollars. Yeah, he had a big year. He was, uh, you know, he hit the board a lot and obviously banged out a lot of money and was uh, was fortunate enough to get the grade one win out of him, which was huge. He definitely deserved one with his with uh, what he had accomplished and uh, just narrowly getting defeated in the uh, Man of War earlier in the year. Actually, actually, that was, I felt like his first race off the layoff, um, it was a big effort. So, you know, we'll we'll see what happens here in the Pegasus later this month and, uh, you know, we'll come up with a game plan. We're kind of maybe looking at Dubai with him as well um, for, I believe it's the Shima, um, if all goes well in the Pegasus and uh, go kind of go from there. He looked to go back for the third year mm -hmm. in the million dollar Calumet Farm Kentucky Turf Cup. Absolutely. He he you know, he, he was that that's definitely a, a race that we'll target. Um, I was thinking like, you know, if we stay in, in the US it would be, you know, the man of war, um, and then that would be I think the goal this spring and then we would probably turn our attention toward somehow getting back to the Kentucky Downs race without a doubt. Um, it's just it, it's it's a great race and he, he obviously uh, likes the course. He won it two years ago and then last year. Ran a great race. He he was probably you know, the the course was playing really quick that day and he just got a little far back. It's just him though. It's just the way he runs and he ran his race and it was just second best that day. But it's definitely something we'll target for sure. What about his race in the Breeders' Cup when he was eighth, mm -hmm. but he only got beat two and three quarter lengths? Yeah, he, a horse might be horse of the year in Brooks and Mortar. Yeah, no doubt. And he's it was it was actually a really really good race, and I think that's why we're kind of looking at the Pegasus. He received the fastest Ragusan number out of that race. He, according to their their mm -hmm. um, calculations, he was the best horse in the race number wise. Oh, what that's worth, it didn't really get you anything. Uh, in the, your bank account, but he he it was a he ran big. He was doing really well going into the Breeders Cup. We thought he would run well. He did. Um, he acted up a little bit in the gate and got away a little tardy. But overall, it was a good effort. He's a night. I mean, he 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 when he he's doing well, he lets you know. And right now, he is doing well and he he performs well. So he's a very consistent horse. Last year, that was a division where the horses, with the exception of Bricks and Mortar, took turns beating each other. Mm -hmm. We're not got Bricks and Mortar this year. I mean, do you feel like he's He'll be sitting on a real big year in 2020. Yeah, absolutely. And he's always a horse. I've said it time and time again. I mean, the connections know that, you know, he's a horse with the pedigree and everything and just his makeup. Uh, he's always a horse we thought would get better with age. He's coming, he's going to be six. And, you know, it's not like we've over raced him. He runs six, seven, eight times a year. And, you know, he's um, he's training, like I said, extremely well. And uh, I do think he, he could be set up for a big year and hopefully be one of the top horses in that division. And I guess the main thing is you're not necessarily hoping for good luck. You just don't want bad luck like you started off with last year when he became unseated. And it kind of changed the complexion of the early part of his campaign. Yeah, it did. We were kind of just didn't really know what to do with him after that Keeneland race that, you know, we were just kind of using it as a, a prep. And then, like I said, we did, he didn't obviously get anything out of that. And then to run in the Man of War and perform the way he did off that, that lengthy layoff was, um, you know, just a testament to how good of a horse he is and, and can be and, and – like I said, another step forward this year, he'll be a top horse going a mile, a mile and a quarter plus.